you must have solved these kind of problems when you were young. There are a certain set of individuals who either want to cross a river or they want to cross a bridge, correct? And then there are these certain conditions that you must satisfy and then come up with a solution, right? So there is one such problem on lead code which explores around a similar concept. Let's see what we can do about it. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. First, I will explain you the problem statement and we will look at some sample test cases. After that, we will look at a brute force solution and see why it ends up taking so much time. Going forward, we are going to use the greedy approach to find an optimal solution. And then as usual, we will also do a dry run of the code so that you can understand and visualize how all of this is actually working in action. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let us try to make sure that we are understanding the problem statement correctly. In this problem, you are given an integer array that has the weight of certain people. So for example, if you have this particular test case, then it has four elements and each of this element is signifying an individual. And then each of this element, it is telling me the weight of that particular person. So you can assume that the weight of first person is 3 kg, then 2 kg, then 2 kg, and then again 1 kg, right? And after that, you are also given a maximum weight limit. So the maximum weight limit over here is 3. So there are a lot of boats available. And then these people have to use these boats. The maximum weight a boat can accommodate is this limit. So if I have a boat like this, the maximum capacity of this boat is 3 kg. And you are also given a condition that a boat can have a maximum of two people, right? So it simply means that if I have a boat like this, its capacity is 3 kg, right? Now in this boat, I cannot have two people of the weight two each. Then this boat will sink. The maximum weight is three. So in my boat, I can either have one person of three or I can have two person of two kg and one kg, right? So you can see that there are a lot of different combinations by which you can transport people. You want to tell what is the minimum boat required such that you are not wasting any boats. So what happens for the first test case? Look at this example. There are two people and one of them has a weight of one kg and the other one has a weight of two kg. Correct. So now when you will start to take boats, I have one boat with 3 kg capacity and now I can put both my people in this boat, right? So they are both happy. The boat does not sink. And then you can say that, okay, you needed one boat. So one is your answer. Correct. Moving on. Now I have my second test case. In my second test case, let us take up a boat. Okay. And now once again, the capacity is 3 kg. So if I put this first person in my boat, then I am at the maximum limit. I cannot have more people, right? So I will have to end up taking one more boat. As soon as I take up one more boat, now I can add one person over here, right? I still have space and still have the capacity. So I cannot put two over here because then it will again be two plus two, four, and it will be more than three. I can put one, right? So this becomes one scenario. So now I have used two boats, but I have one person remaining, correct? So I will take up one more boat and this person sits over here. So what do you get? This time you need a minimum of three boats. So for your second test case also three is the answer, correct? Let us look at the last test case now. In this example, the limit of the boat is five kg, correct? But if you notice, I can not place any two persons in the boat. As soon as I pick two people, the weight becomes greater than five, right? So three and five is eight, three and three is six, three and four is seven, right? There is no combination by which I can fit more than one people in the boat. So in your last case, you will have to be taking four boats at the minimum. Each person is going in their individual boat. That is because the boat does not have the weight limit to accommodate two people. So in your last test case, you will need a minimum of four boats. 
and four is your answer right so that is what you have to do you have to tell me the minimum number of boats correct now how can you go about approaching this problem to start with a brute force approach let us take up a more generic example this time i have a bigger array and even my boat limit is high i can accommodate 12 kg in total so if you have to start off with a brute force approach what can you do you can say that okay i will start off with the first person and put it in the boat now the first person is in the boat and then what you will do you will try to find the second person that you can fit can you put 2 in there no because 11 plus 2 will become 13 and it is greater than 12 so once again what you will do you will try to look at the next person possible 11 and 9 they also cannot go can 11 and 1 go yes because the limit is 12 so this completes one of your boat similarly now you will start your second boat and you can again repeat the same process you will try to fit in 2 and then you will try to fit in 9 they both can fit in the same boat and you can proceed ahead so this is a brute force approach of doing things but you can see that it can end up taking a lot of time because you have to keep on iterating again and again to find out the best possible combination for whichever your first candidate is right and it ends up taking so much time you will have repeated cycles correct so certainly we want some better approach by which you can minimize the number of boats because think about it right now you are not even sure that the boats you will have that will be minimum it could be possible that you will get minimum boats when you start with 3 and then go in this direction right so this approach is not deterministic let us see how we can use the greedy method to attack this problem once again you have the same array in front of you and just keep in mind what is your target you want to have the minimum number of boats correct and when do you need more number of boats you need more number of boats when you have a lot of heavy people think about it if your boat capacity is 12 and all the people in the group have a weight of 11 kg then in no case you can ever have two people in the boat correct and similarly if you have a lot of light people for example if all the persons in the group have a weight of 1 kg then in every boat you can fit two people correct so it all depends on how many heavy weight people do you have in the group so that gives you one clue so what we can do is we can try to sort the array by sorting i am sure that all of the light weight people will be on the one group and all of the heavy weight people will get on the other group and then we can proceed ahead and what just happened i am getting all of the light weight people over here and all the heavy weight people over here so try to think you have to transport all the people correct that is no exception and all the heavy weight people will also have to go so what we can do is we can start off with the heaviest person my heaviest person has a weight of 12 kg correct so i place him in the boat as soon as i place him then i check hey do i have any more capacity available right i do not have any more capacity so this boat is now full just remember that this is the best case it can never be possible that you can have any more person fitting with this 12 kg person correct so this has to be always there so this is where we are being greedy we are starting off with the heaviest person possible and now what happens i took care of the person with the weight 12 kg time to pick another boat now once again what i will do is i will start off with the heaviest person available i now have 11 kg person available so i put him in a boat as soon as i put him try to think the limit is 12 so what i will do i will ask from the group hey is there any person with a weight of 1 kg so since you have your array already sorted where will you find the lightest person you will find the lightest person from the left side correct so that is why we had sorted our array and now what we can do is we can take one lighter person and put it in the boat your boat is now full and now you can take up another boat once again we will follow the same approach 
take this person with the weight 10 kg and put him in the boat. So he is over here and now you still have some weight remaining. So try to fill up a lighter person and you will find the lighter persons on the left. So I will take up this person with 1 kg and put him in the boat again. We go ahead and take up another boat. Follow the same approach. Take the heavier person and now fill up with a lighter person. So you start from the left, you find a 2 and put him in the boat. I am now left with just one more person and this person also goes in the boat. And voila, all of the people have now been transported. We needed a total of 5 boats. Based upon this approach, let us quickly now do a dry run of the code to see how it works in action. On the left side of your screen, you have the complete code to implement this solution. And on the right, once again, I have my array and this limit, which is passed in as an input parameter to the function number of rescue boats. The first thing that we do is we sort our array. As soon as you sort this array, you get your array something like this. All of the lighter people are on the left side and all the heavier people are on the right side. And we are going to take advantage of this fact. What do we do? We start off with a two pointer approach. We have a left pointer which starts at 0 and the right pointer starts at 12. Also, I initialize a variable boats that is set to 0. Right now, we haven't taken up any boat, correct? Next, what you do is you run a while loop. And this while loop will run until your left pointer is behind the right pointer. Because that is when we know that, okay, we need to stop. So now, what do you do? You will try to put the heaviest and the lightest person on the same boat, correct? So we will try to see, okay, 12 plus 1, that is 13. You cannot fit both of these people in the same boat. So what do I do? I don't do a left plus plus. I will just put this person 12 in the boat and then move ahead because this person cannot be paired with anyone. So this right pointer moves one step backward. And this person occupied a boat, correct? So we will do boats plus plus. So this is telling me that, okay, I took care of one person and I have taken one boat up till now. Notice that I haven't picked up any person from the left side. This loop will now run again. And this time, what do we do? We try to put the person 11 and the person with the weight one in the same boat. This 11 plus one, it is less than equal to 12, correct? So they can come in the same boat. What does that mean? I can easily move my left pointer also one step ahead because one person got in the same boat and the right pointer will anyway move one step backward because a heavier person went in the boat. And no matter what the case, I took up additional boat. So I do a boats plus plus. So this way, this loop will go on and these pointers will keep on advancing one step ahead. As soon as they reach a common point, this loop will stop and at the end, you will return the total number of boats required. The time complexity of this solution is order of n log n because you need that time to sort your array. That is the only time required. When you are doing the traversal, that happens in order of n time, correct? And the space complexity of this solution is order of 1 because you are not taking up any extra space to arrive at your solution. I hope I was able to simplify the problem and its solution for you. As per my final thoughts, I just want to say that this problem can be converted into a very generic problem. For example, right now you had a maximum capacity of the boat to be 2, correct? What happens if this capacity is not defined? What happens if you are only given a limit? then you can put any number of people in the boat, right? And suddenly the entire question changes. The approach may also change. You can also have a limited number of boats. So there are all of these variations and it is not necessary that one approach will also apply to the other question as well. So just keep that in mind. While going through the video, did you face any problems or what other variations of this problem have you already seen? Tell me everything in the comment section below and I would love to discuss all of it with you. As a reminder, if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This motivates me to make more and more such videos where I can simplify programming for you. Also, a huge shout out to all the members who support my channel. You guys really keep me going. And as a member, you do get priority reply to your comments as well. 
stay tuned for my next video until then see ya